Scorpio. What's up, water babies? What's poppin'? What's going on in life with a scorpion for the month of March 2019? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys in a very reflective place? Re evaluating some situations and circumstances of where you've been and really, really, really embracing, you know, the path of momentum moving forward on your infinite, on your path, on your journey that you were created for. Is it on your mind? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo, hey. I'm Oka. This is your first time you're on my channel. Hey, I cuss. All right, so if cussing don't work for you, you guys, Please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can resonate with you better without cussing. Because see me, how I'm set up. I'm going to do that. All right. So um, it's a lot of readers here on YouTube that can better assist you. A lot of very talented light workers here in this community. They can better assist you, y'all. To the new subscribers. Hey, boo. Welcome to the family. We really dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. All right. We cry. We evolve, we love, we share, we grow, we enlighten, all right? Posse Bob's only over here. Returning family members, what's up, baby? What's up, family? How is Mercury Retrograde treating y'all? Got people just pop, 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 Y'all, thank you for my likes, my shares, my subscribes, my comments. I really appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Y'all know I'm not going to cry. I'm trying to get better with my sensitivity. But it means a whole lot to me, y'all. This is not a personal. It's a general reading. If you need a personal, that information can be found below within the description. Without further ado, it's for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers. Gang, gang, when I'm off. All right. For the sign of Scorpio. For the month of March 2019. All right. So we're going to jump into your intuitive messages. First, all right. So while meditating on the energy, what I got from my babies, the scorpions, was rebirth, rejected, new love, past life, plot twist, revenge plot. Yeah, I know. Listen to this shit. I was like, what? Soul ties, spiritually protected, awakening. Trust yourself. It's safe. Life path. Wealth. Sagittarius. Virgo. Rebirth. Releasing. Pouring. Family matters. Forgiveness. Resurface. Taurus. Cancer. Aries. Gemini. Capricorn. Leo, Aquarius, health. All right. So, Scorpions, let's talk about it. All right. The angel message that you guys received for the month of March was Claire Cognizance. This comes from Archangel Uriel. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you. As they are answered prayer. So scorpions are learning how to trust themselves. I feel that you guys have always been in the energy of trusting yourself. But you're understanding how to trust the synchronicities. And when things keep coming to you, they're not coming for no reason, baby. Sometimes it's just, you know, spirit's way of saying, I'm doing everything. But just busting your ass in the head, Scorpio. Listen to me now, okay? Feel me, all right? For some of you all, all right? I'm sorry, some of you all. The overall energy around the reading is... The eight of space. I definitely feel like for some of you all, this is definitely a time in a season of momentum. Where am I supposed to be? That's where I'm supposed to be. All right. Well, my path and my abundance lies within this place. You're really, you're really mastering during this time. Um, manifestation through simply adjusting the way that you see things, adjusting your vision, adjusting your foresight, which is some real genius shit, might I add. Scorpions, a lot of you are for the month of March are going to be experience, experiencing a death of perspective, a death, a death of perspective. The way that you look at things, the way that you once saw situations, the things that once mattered, you're really not going to give a fuck anymore. The only thing that you're really focused on, a lot of you all are in a place of focusing on bringing your abundance to the forefront, what it is and what shift it is that you need to 
make, okay, in order for you to bring that, recent, that, that reciprocity, to bring that support, to bring the right people into your life, okay, because we understand that like attracts like, the vibrations that we walk in are usually we ain't nothing but a mirror of people who we actually attract to our world. Whether we want to see it or not, it's simply acknowledging not every aspect of ourselves, both the light aspect, the dark aspect, okay? And finding that finding that medium, finding that balance in between both aspects of the self, but loving and embracing every piece of it. It's not about judging yourself or judging situations, even people who are coming back during this Mercury retrograde and saying, okay, well, you was wrong for that, or you did this, or you did that, because for some of you all, this person was the catalyst for you even going, for you even being receptive to this awakening and moving you closer towards your path and your journey of abundance that you actually signed that soul contract to come here for, all right? So it's funny that I just said that and I just saw 555. Some of you all, there's a massive change. There is a shifting that is occurring. And for some of you all, it could be occurring within the external, but it's only going to be after you actually being accepting to the shift that is taking place internally and just simply surrendering and allowing it to occur, baby. And understanding that you are safe in the process because the things that are aligning for you and how things are lining up for you is going to shift you in, from this place of feeling stuck in your thoughts. What do I do next? What part is next? Am I even supposed to be here into fast movement, trucking? I ain't even got time to look back because I'm too busy pressing fucking forward. You understand? In a successful way and understanding that every person, place, person, place, or thing that you have encountered within your past, within your past, on in your past and your present all has to do with the evolution of your soul and being appreciative for that because each day that you each time that you experience those encounters it just gives you a different way and a new perspective and a new found aspect of yourself to be grateful for and spirit is saying just open your arms baby during this time and receive i got some for you for those of you who could also be mourning a loved one some of you are um could actually be mourning a loved one and you find that when you go to sleep this loved one actually appears in your dreams it's because you have the gift of mediumship my baby and for some of you all you're finding that you have the gift of astral travel so you're able to leave your body and actually go explore places while you're sleeping but for some of you all you really need to ground yourself and make sure and think about it like this if you ask all out in space all out in the damn open astro traveling, just flying and living your best life, your body wide open. Your body could be out here, you have a spirit out here trying to bust your body wide open. And even if it's under, even if it's explaining that aspect of spirituality and that aspect of honing the ability, some of you all are literally master teachers. Some of y'all, I'm talking to a few people, but some of you guys were literally born here with this, uh, with that 33, with that Christ consciousness. Some of you all are indigos, and I feel that for some of you all, you're really having a depth, a depth to a perspective that's going to move you toward this life path. For some of you all, this could be moving you towards a person, a person who you possibly have a past life connection with. And for some of you all, this could include a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, but this person could actually be the catalytic, the catalytic soul that was chosen to actually propel you forward on um, your journey as being on your journey to being an empath, being a light worker, being a healer. Okay, being a spiritual teacher. For some of you all, it's really some of you all are looking looking at your gifts and yourself and your abilities from a new light. Some of you all were afraid. Are you moving from this place of fear? Are you allowing yourself to actually face those emotions during this time to move you forward and propel you into where it is that you see your, where you see yourself? Not where fucking outsiders see yourself. Or what your mom and them feel like you should be doing. What daddy and them feel like you should be doing. Well, Uncle Chris and Aunt Tucker and them. Well, look, Uncle Tucker and Aunt Chris and Auntie G and them want for your fucking life. Just because you can sing don't mean you want to be a singer. And take that from someone who knows I wanted to be a singer all my life until I actually walked my path to being a healer. To understand that I've never loved something so much outside of my outside of my child, to be honest. You know, and it's really that truth. I've chosen this path over relationships. I've chosen this path over friendships. And then I, I later look back and all these uh, friendships and these people are resurfacing. And to be very honest, I'm glad that I actually, I'm really upset in myself that I didn't choose to love me and see me a lot sooner. Because you're going to find the same people who are casting that projection or 
making you feel as if you are less than. These same motherfuckers don't have shit. A pot the piece in or wonder to throw it out of. They are mere, merely reflections of your shadow side and you telling yourself, your subconscious telling yourself for such a long time what you could not do. And maybe this person, this circumstance, something is coming into your life during this time, okay, or coming back. I am here resurface, okay? So for some of you all, things that you could have just possibly moved away from or maybe that you thought you moved away from, from an internal aspect are coming to the surface for you to actually face those emotions and for you to kind of handle them in a very mature way, not push them under a rug, not go passive, not be in the normal mysterious scorpion energy, but to be open, to be flowing, to be vulnerable, to understand that your power is in you standing naked at the ballpark in all vulnerability, baby. And understanding that, no, we're not looking from, we're not even worried about the judgment that's going to be cast because you under, you have to understand some of the greatest people of all time that we still read up on to teach our children about today, even they had rocks thrown at them. But the impact that they had on so many people's lives from a soul aspect, everybody who's throwing them motherfucking rocks, when you really think about it, what fruit, what fruit that you know of can they honestly say that they bear? Or what fruits... What 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 fruits of their fucking tree have you have you eaten off of? You know why? Because they were so busy throwing fucking rocks and throwing judgment and 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 projection and fear and their own fucking um mental propaganda of pro, uh, of of projected emotions of just and, and, and also thank you spirit. Some of you guys are really 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 needing to get into a space of being accepted. Spirit is really wanting you to know that they're putting people along your path that are actually triggering certain emotions within you so that you can actually deal with them once and for all because it's a time of infinite. It's a time for you guys to be successful, to actually, it's harvest time, baby. It's time for you to reap the rewards of your fruits. And that baggage of emotions and that baggage of subconscious fears and those bag that bag of fears and you know abandonment and and judgment and um maliciousness and you know all of those negative aspects that are a piece of you or who you once was that's trying to shed can come with you on this journey because it's one of abundance it's one of renewal it's one of the purge it's one of Grace. Some of you all may be seeing a lot of spiders during this time. Those spiders are signifying abundance. The abundance that is that the spirit is really trying to bestow onto you, but it's going to require for you to walk into the door of the unknown. The door of vulnerability, the door of trusting, the door of receptivity. And not stinging, not 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 being ready to pull that damn stinger out. On the people who are having to trigger those emotions because, again, they are only being used as vessels to shift you into that place of being where your soul finds that fulfillment that it's been seeking for quite some time. The soul urges to be fulfilled. The soul urges. It thirsts for purpose. Its purpose. Its infinite purpose. The soul is thirsting for momentum. A lot of you all are breaking past, you know, the illusions that you told yourself, you know, of what you could not be. Oh, well, I can't, I can't go work in the hospital because I ain't gonna have that motherfucking degree. Shit, I know Charlie now, and Charlie, Char, Charlie ass no right. Look, Charlie ass no Rodney, and Rodney motherfucking ass no uh Victor, and Victor ass no somebody that's gonna get your ass up in there and get you that job when you need it by. It's never saying never and believing in anything. I'm, well, I say believing in anything. Believing that anything is possible. Y'all, this Mercury retrograde on my ass, okay? I got Pisces in my moon. I got Gemini in my Venus, and it's going down, okay? So, y'all, please excuse me. Um, but, yeah, it's 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 seeing. It's, it's literally readjusting your vision and readjusting your vision from the things that come within you. For some of you all, you're finding... You, you, you're literally, t you're, you're mastering the art of your empresshood, turning your pain into your power. For some of you all, again, it goes back to standing naked in front of that baseball field. For some of you all, it is your journey. It's a part of your path to empower others 
through your strengths that you had to hurdle over, that you had to learn, and the aspects about yourself that you want to judge. It's, it, it, it's not judgment, but seeing it from a place of beauty and accepting it from a place of unconditional love, the good, the bad, the ugly. Some of you all, for those of you who connect with water goddesses, the third, well, this week going into next week, it could even be this weekend. Some of you guys, some of you guys could actually be dipping back and forth with past life recognitions. Like, and this could have to do with the union. They may be used, they, they, spirit may be using familiarity, like the face of someone who you're connected with now or someone who is actually coming back to reconcile with you to kind of give you that familiar, familiarity. But I feel like some of you guys are being catapulted, um, towards a person or towards a, um, through a door. And this door, for some of you all, this door is just darkness. I mean, the only thing that you can see from where you're standing is the darkness, but you have not yet walked through that door. Just see that it's full of fairies and it's full of everything magical that you once dreamed of. It's, it's, it's really behind that door lies the spirit of your inner child that once knew that you can have and be anything. If you just truly put that same energy that you put into that unfulfilling place, that, unfulf that unfulfilling place of being where you have gotten comfortable. And just trust. Trust in moving in the aspects of yourself that you'll find behind that door that you've never known. That, you, or that you've always been afraid to truly peek in and see because of what someone else might think. Or how you may be perceived or not not be received. It's about your happiness. Some of y'all are really learning that you need to be stingy with your energy. Period. Focus on you and healing during this time. Okay. And for some of you all, a lot of y'all gonna be praying more than you ever have before. For those of you who live, uh, for those of you who connect to water goddesses, I do see a massive download. For some of you all, you're really needing to. Um, some of y'all are really needing to get by water. There's a message coming the way of water. I'm hearing the way of water. Some of y'all will be receiving. Um, some of you guys will be receiving information from through your children during this time. You really needed to turn to your children for some of the answers of the things that you're praying for. Some of you guys are going to be finding out that you have very empathic children. And you're really needing to connect and find that balance within how you deal with your children because their energy is going to be very sensitive during this time. Really nurture and protect your energy. For some of you all who are newer empaths, um, you may find that you're sensitive with going to huge environments during this time. So you really need to kind of lay low and kind of kind of stick to yourself during this retrograde because I definitely feel like some of y'all, uh, y'all energy is a bit is a bit sensitive, but it's sensitive to the level of Y'all are picking up everybody's pain. Pretty much if somebody starts bleeding and scrape their leg up in front of you, you may have a damn ache or pain happening in that same spot. Like, y'all y'all energy is extremely sensitive that I'm seeing during this time. So some of you guys are really needing to separate yourself from people to really, really, really focus in on what energy belongs to you and what energy belongs to other people because some of you guys are having a hard time sleeping. Your energy is so sensitive that if you have a twin flame or a strong soulmate connection that you may even be experiencing um, some of this person's emotions during this time. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, um, Soul recognition. Okay, so for some of you all, this could be a um, answer to your prayers as far as if you've been asking spirit, um, is this person my twin flame or is this person my life partner? Or is this person, am I supposed to be this person? Is this a past life partner? They want you to pay attention to the synchronicities, especially the ones, uh, especially the ones around um, repetition. Okay. All right, so let's get it. So, Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpio? We love for the month of March 2019. What messages do you have for my Scorpio in love for March 2019? What can they expect? Okay, moving forward. 
So some of you guys could actually be moving away, moving away from someone or moving towards a partner. Yeah, some of you guys could possibly be moving towards a fire sign. And this could be someone who you could have, um, who could have moved away from you before you could have moved away from. For some of you all, some of y'all could be moving away from a cancer to move towards a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. And for some of you all, it's moving away. Some of y'all could also be experiencing some type of car issues. All right. So some of you... Uh, Car issues during this time, during this retrograde, that's um, possibly making it hard for you to um, travel to see someone, all right? So there may be delayed plans for some of you all. Um, some of y'all, some of you guys really want to move towards, um, move towards some type of partnership or equal give and take in a relationship, possibly with an earth sign as well, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or what's preventing movement for it is that equal give and take, okay? I definitely feel like some of y'all could be actually moving away from someone due to some type of legal issues that they are having. Some of y'all could actually be leaving someone during this time because you found out that this person was giving money to someone else, possibly yourself in an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or yourself in a fire sign. But some of y'all could also be in this in this place of solitude. You just really don't want to be bothered. You really want to focus on um, focus on your path, focus on your spiritual abundance, focus on stability. Some of you guys are actually removing yourself from possibly some type of relationship or some type of tied part, some type of um, partnership where there was tied assets. Okay, some type of tied finances. This could be with the Capricorn towards Virgo. Some of you all could also find out that, um, especially if you're dealing with the sign of Virgo, that this person could have actually possibly moved away from you. If you're dealing with the sign of Virgo and this person moved away from you um, and possibly moved to another earth sign, some of y'all are going to be finding out that it was, due to finan it was due to financial reasons. And that's going to give you the clarity that you need in order for you to move forward and be happy, okay? But some of y'all could also be cutting off um, an air sign, all right? Or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could possibly be cutting you off due to there not being an equal level of give and take. For some of you all, you just really want to... Hmm. Okay. Some of you guys could possibly be cutting off someone who you have children with, okay? Or some of you all could also be um cutting off a Pisces, Libra, um, Aries, Virgo, Taurus. I definitely feel like the issue has to do with finances, okay? As well as someone possibly giving to two plants to two uh two households. Some of you all could also be finding out through child support matters um that someone was having an affair i'm here i heard strong child support all right um someone could also could have been dealing with the sign of cancer if you're dealing with the sign of cancer this person really wants to move forward during this time and i feel like this person really wants to um either start something up with the fire sign from their past every field sagittarius this could be someone who they have children with hmm some of you guys um some of y'all could also be uh, reconnecting or reconciling with a fire sign, every little Sagittarius, who possibly will move away from you or you're going to move away from this person and go in this place of solitude. I feel I'm here with catalyst. So I feel like this person could be some type of catalyst to um, an idea or a catalyst. Um, this person could have been a catalyst to you healing and moving forward towards your life purpose, your passion, your awakening. Yeah. For some of you all, it's definitely about walking away from the past, okay? So be careful when it comes to reconciliations during this time because I do see that some of you guys are kind of coming in. People are kind of coming in with this night energy. So for some of y'all, people are going to leave just as fast as they came in. And for some of you all, someone, some, some of y'all had someone that you were connecting with that just wanted to come in and have a sexual connection with you. You could have moved away from this person. This person could have moved away from you in the past due to their not being an equal level a equal level of give and take or for some of you all things could be moving extremely fast or this person could have came and reconciled with you extremely fast possibly while you were in the midst of uh, moving towards a connection with another person who could also be a fire sign this person could be cancer this person could also be capricorn towards virgo some of you guys are cutting off an earth sign or cutting off the air sign 
due to the fact that this person could be extremely controlling, but I feel like this person can be is trying to control you when it comes to money matters, okay? And some of y'all are just cutting off relationships, period, and just focusing on your own stability. Some of you all are resisting or possibly are dealing with the fire sign. Every feel sad that is resisting uh, moving forward in a relationship due to the fact that there is not an equal level of give, give and take. But however, this person does want to still get your cookies. They still want to. They still want your booty, Scorpio. They still want some of that loving. Okay. For some of you all, uh, you could some y'all could be uh, resisting a twin flame. Okay. Or you could have a twin flame resisting you or resisting a twin flame union. This could also have to do with a past life union, um, a past life partnership. And I feel like in the past life, the issue had to be with some form of resistance after someone was left out in the cold. Okay. For some of you all, what's preventing the partnership from actually flourishing is because someone has a fear that someone did not come to stay and be genuine. Someone came to possibly either use them for money or um, not equally give to the partnership. Okay, So I do see that some of y'all could be stalking or could have someone stalking you to see if you are um, connecting with someone from your past or, or you could be looking at someone from your past to see if they're connecting with other people. If it's actually safe to be vulnerable and love this person because you feel that some of y'all feel the inconsistency around this, this individual. But for some of you all, there needs to be a reprogramming of a reprogramming of um, how you look at things. Because for some of you all, it's coming from a place of fear, not what's actually going on. So you're kind of manifesting that to happen because you're giving that fear that power. Okay. For some of you all, um, some of you guys could be finding out through watching through social media that someone who actually could have left you out in the cold could have actually went and got committed to someone else. Okay. For some of you all, some of y'all could be stalking to find out or have someone, especially if you're married to someone. And so you have a, uh, you have an inkling and you found out that someone was having a third party. Some of you all, um, are really unsure if there was a baby involved. For some of you all, there, you are finding out that there's a child involved. And the reason behind this person having this child by your significant other was because they want to be tied to, they wanted to be tied to them. And this is you, you, I'm sorry, this is your significant other or this person's karma because there was nothing the lesson is around greed someone was using someone else for money shit went left all right but it was a catalytic situation to remove you from a situation the spirit had already been trying to push you out the door from a very long time for some of you all i'm hearing four four years five years some of y'all it's been seven years for some of you all it's been 11 years i mean and so this catalytic situation had to happen in order for you to have that momentum for you to push through, push forward, because you wasn't trusting yourself enough in order to do it yourself. So spirit had to give you a little push. All right. For some of you all, this could be someone uh, who's watching you to see if you are married. OK, some of y'all, somebody's definitely looking online to find out that someone's married or involved with someone else. Someone could have left another person thinking that the grass was greener on the other side, trying to connect with um, possibly a baby father, a baby mother, just to find out that this person is fucking broke. So now this person wants to come back. They want to reconcile. And Scorpio, y'all are cutting that shit up at the door, okay? Some of you guys could also have a earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. I feel like you're resisting <clears throat> this person. And you're feeling as if some of y'all are sad about having to cut out an earth sign, though. Because I feel like I feel like you're in love with this person, but I feel like things move a little you could have met this person, you could work with this person. Or this person could you could have met this person at work. This person could also work with um this person could also work with a friend or you work with uh, there's like mutual friends. That's external there's external noise outside of it too. I feel like this has to do with work some kind of way. Maybe some uh, people at work know about this union. And I feel like you're very sad. You're resisting this person. This person is a soulmate to you. And I feel like this person came into your life as good karma. But you're going to have to make a decision to release a situation where there's no equal give and take. It could possibly be um, someone who you've been committed to, someone who you have children with. Even though there's this stable offer over here with possibly a Virgo or a Capricorn. But maybe you got to cut off a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius first. In order for this new beginning to move forward, you have to completely walk away from your past. Yeah, in order to have this Ace of Cups. Okay, but for those of you um, 
Yeah, I do see. For those of you who are kind of who kind of been indecisive, okay, possibly this could have to do with the Pisces, all right. But I definitely feel like for those of you who have been indecisive about making a decision to victoriously move forward, Spirit is saying it looks good. The only person that's standing in your way is you. So there is, you're on the brink of a new beginning, new love, new opportunities and finances, okay, and abundance, as well as fulfillment, happiness, harmony. However, you choosing to not make a decision and release the burdens, okay, release um, not trusting in a situation, release the fears around really being vulnerable to a situation. When you release that and make the damn decision to get that damn monkey off your back, and release this thing, anxiety energy, actually heal this feeling of abandonment, rejection, feeling as if you're not good enough, and trust your intuition that's telling you to jump off the damn cliff, can you experience the love of a lifetime? But you got to get out of your own way, baby. All right? So I dare you to just trust the process. All right? This is what I have for my scorpions between for, for the month of March in 2019. I will see you all back here for the April 1st to 15th generals. I'm doing mid-month next month, y'all. I needed a break. I love you all very much. Much love, much light. Namaste. If you need a personal, that information can be found below. Hit me up. Love y'all.